So this week's Hawaiian Volcano Summary. We're showing here Kilauea in the daytime over the past week, and you can see lots of fume coming from the crater floor, but there has been no active lava. In fact, I've cut out the nighttime shots because there's not a whole lot to see from this angle. There is a little bit of glow still visible from little cracks on the crater floor, but for the most part, activity is still paused. Um, however, uh, this past week, on March 11th, there was a small swarm of earthquakes here underneath Kilauea summit, and there is the the largest map extent of any map that you can find online. This is from the USGS website, showing all the very small events uh, underneath the southern and western edge of the summit near the lava lake, and also looks like a little bit trailing off into the into that upper southwest rift connector, possibly if this is uh, reliable here. Um, however, if we look at the, the tilt signals, this is a tilt signal from two days uh, that is back covering that period of time. This little blip right here is the tilt deviation that occurred at the beginning of that earthquake swarm. And you can see that there was no offset that occurred as a result of that, and really the volcano resumed its regular deflation inflation pattern afterwards. So zooming out, here is a tilt for the whole last month. And here is that intrusion event, that little wiggle right there. But you see it's in the middle of these deflation inflation cycles still ongoing now that were happening before. But all this follows this pattern of not quite a month ago, that large deflation that ended the eruption uh, or paused the eruption. And deflation and inflation continued for the whole rest of the, the remaining weeks here. And here we have this large inflation that was um, starting at the beginning of last week's update. And it seems like that was the, the manifestation of the magma pressurizing and then causing a little intrusion here. But the long-term prognosis doesn't look a whole lot different, really, because it didn't uh, uh, change a whole lot as far as the surface tilt is concerned here. So magma still came into the volcano, still uh, pressurizing underground, and so it's just a matter of time to see what, what it will do next. And you can tune, it, tune in to our full update if you want to hear all the details of that. However, just to finish off our summary here, uh, Mauna Loa has been downgraded today uh, from advisory or yellow uh, alert codes to normal and green uh, on the 16th year. It's been three months, three full months since uh, the end of the Mauna Loa eruption um, and it ended uh, back in December 2022. So this is all business as usual. Uh, USGS has defined in the past this three month window um, to call an eruption over. We've passed that and so it's, it's all good on, on Mauna Loa. On low is still inflating, but it's really lacking in the earthquakes that, that would suggest that it's pressurizing to build to another outburst. So it's doing its normal thing. It is filling with magma. It's alive still, um, but uh, no sign of imminent eruption on Mauna Loa and thus the downgrading to green as expected. So that's the summary this week. We can get into some of the details.